So I just bought the champagne. Is what I did. Wait, where are those people? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that <laughs> slimy high school? Game over, loser. Boy. Hey, the kid who was lined up for that game, right? You managed to get it. Oh, Mister. What's the matter? Oh. Wrong. Yes, my brand new video game. That guy Daddy. stole it. What? Wait. You mean that high school kid who just left? Uh huh? He just ran up and yelled at me to hand it over. He took my, my, he took it. My R T three. I spent all morning waiting in line too. I. I saved up my allowance for a really, really long time to get it, and now it's gone. Stealing from a little boy? Oh, That's really low. Hey, kid. What's your name? It's... it's... A Akio. Akio. Got it. Hang tight, Akio. I'll get your game back. Huh? You will? So, there's no need to cry. Ah. Mister! Okay, I won't cry anymore. Good. That's showing some spine, little man. I like that. Leave it to me. Hey, thank you, mister. A high school delinquent ran off towards Pink Street with Akio's Arakure game. Beat the shit out of this motherfucker. Take another man's video game? Don't think so. Little beast mode is on his ass. Oh, am I going to buy from this? Oh, mm. just kidding. Mm -hmm. Isn't that... <laughs> Later, freak. Ugh. No fair. I've been defeated. No doubt about it. That's the kid who took Akio's game. Hey, you. You have that Arakure game, don't you? Huh? What's it to you? My adventure just came to an abrupt end, so leave me yeah. alone. You can do. I'll take back that Arakure game you took from Akio. Q 3 That's the last thing I want to hear about right now. Forget it, I'm going to grind your ass just for the experience. Are you really now? That work out for you, bitch. <laughs> Mister <laughs> Akio, I just caught the guy who took your Arakure. Oh yay! Okay, give Akio his Arakure back. Look, man, I don't have it. Give it up already. If you don't want another beating, hand it over and get a job next time you want a video game. I told you I don't have it. I got robbed by a better thief than me. Daddy. What? You were robbed too? Yeah, this trick from a street gang busted out his dagger of stealing and made me give it to him. Mm. A gang member? You mean that guy who was just here? <sighs> yeah, lame. I could be home leveling up, and now my RQ3 is probably going to some dude who's not even uh. a fan. Excuse me? Your RQ3? That Arakure wasn't yours. Who? You rob a little kid, then turn around and cry like a baby when you get mugged? How pathetic is that? If you haven't learned your lesson yet, you want another class? Ah, no! I'm already alive! Sorry, man, I'm out of here! My RQ3. <laughs> Don't worry, Akio. I'll get it back for you. I promise. Ah, yes, sir. Okay, got it. So the kid who stole Akio's RQ3 had it stolen by some thug. And that guy went off towards Taihei Boulevard. <laughs> nope, I am just here for this. God damn it! お客さんどうです。遊んでいきませんか。ちょっと寄ってきません。ね。ちょっと寄ってて。遊んでいきませんか。ああ、すいません。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ち
Okay, buddy. So you know, fucking ass. It's like I'm the one who got stomped. Mister! <laughs> hey, Akio. I just caught the wannabe punk who stole your RQ3 from that nerdy high school kid. Uh, okay. I don't get it, but that's great. Alright, give Akio his RQ3. Sorry, pal, but your game got pinched. I'm not playing around. Give the kid his game or he can suffer some more. I'm serious. It's really gone. Some a-hole got to jump on me. What? You were robbed too. Uh... Uh, yeah. This hard-ass Yakuza type held me at gunpoint, forced me to give it to him, then took mm. off. Yakuza type? You mean that guy who was just here? <sighs> uh-huh. What a shitty day I'm having. That Yakuza guy jacked my RQ3, and he's probably not even a uh. fan. Your RQ3? That game wasn't yours to begin with. Yeah. You steal from a kid, then cry like a little baby when you get mugged? I'm seeing a pathetic pattern here. If this isn't getting through to you, how about we go another round? Ah, uh, nope. I'm good. I'm really sorry. My RQ3. <laughs> Don't worry, Akio. I promise I'll hunt it down for you. Uh, Mister. Okay, got it. So, the thug who took Akio's RQ3 from the kid who stole it in the first place ended up having it taken by some hard-ass Yakuza who went off towards Taihei Boulevard. My head hurts. Mine too. But it's okay. We're gonna find this jackass. Even if I have to beat up these delinquents first. On the right street? Yeah, by Hey Boulevard. Oh, there's a. Oh, there's a car right here. Can I get it? <laughs> Damn it! Wahahaha, <laughs> you're finally mine, RQ3. My quest is complete. Boy. Hey, that game you got there. What's that, fool? You one of those losers who couldn't score an RQ3? That's some tough luck. But you see, this RQ3 belongs to us. <laughs> so if you want to live, get off my street. And listen, don't bother looking for a place that's still selling RQ3. Just find a fool who bought it, bought one, and take it. Villains, every last one. What's this world coming from? Huh? Huh? What did you say, boy? That RQ3. I'm taking it back. What's that? Take it back? Don't act like it was your game to start with. <laughs> Shut up, it's complicated. Oh, I see. You're an RQ3 hunter too then. Playtime's over, so I'm not holding back either. Welcome to your doom. Gee, I actually drew it again. Mother, fucker, give that. Oh, oh. Okay, all right. Oh, he stunned me, shit. Ow. What? Oh my god. Fuck you, that was my bike. Oh, there we go. Turn around. Oh, I knew I was going to get shot again. God damn it. Guns hurt. No, this cannot be. I'll be taking the RQ3 with me. Well, hold on. Please, I need that. Give it back. Come on. 
Give it back. This was never yours to begin with. Bella, I'm begging you, please. My little boy's really been looking forward to playing it. Your son? Uh, yeah. My old lady left me and took the boy with her. He's been wanting RQ3 ever since he read about it. We went looking everywhere, but there ain't none for sale anywhere. I just wanted my boy to be happy. Bella, I'm begging here. You gotta let me have it, please. I get the picture now. Sorry, but I can't do that. You probably don't know this, but a little kid saved up his allowance and went through a lot of trouble to buy the last copy of this RQ3. Eh? <laughs> I didn't stick up no little kid. I took it off some worthless uh. moon. That's right. You got the game from a punk, but that game belonged to a little kid first. Long story short, you took RQ3 from a wannabe punk, took it from a high school bully, who took it from the last boy in line who bought it in the first place. <laughs> My head hurts just thinking about it, but all right, so that's what happened. And I came to get it back for the little kid, going back to the rightful owner. I'm sorry. Bella, I'm the fool here. Give it back to that kid for me. Damn, I was about to make someone else's kid cry for the sake of my own. What kind of monster have I become? I thought I could make my boy happy with something I stole from someone else. I was wrong. How am I supposed to be a good dad to my boy? Akio like this. I thought that might be what happened. I guess you better I guess you better think about that. Wait, what? Akio? Oh, hi, mister. <laughs> Perfect timing, Akio. I just got your RQ3 back. Oh, really? It's me. Huh? Akio? It's you, my Akio. Oh, hi, Papa. Daddy. Papa? You guys are related? <laughs> That's right. Are you friends with Papa, mister? Mm. Uh, yeah, you might say that. Sure. Mm. Wait, buddy, that little kid you were telling me about, that RQ3 there was what Akio bought with his own money? And I tried to... That seems to be how this is shaking out. But why, Akio? Why didn't you say anything to your papa? All you had to do was ask. I could have given you the money to buy RQ3 any time. Because mom always gets mad at you, papa, for spending money on golfing and go-karts and board games and... I didn't want mama to get mad at you even more for spending all your money again, papa, so I tried to buy it myself. Akio. Mister, papa looks kind of scary, but he's a really, really nice man once you get to know him. He took me to a bunch of game stores just the other day. Papa's not living with Mama and me now. I think he's lonely, so please stay friends with him, okay? Actually, Akio, your Papa held, helped me get your RQ3 back. Hmm? Really? Thank you, Papa. I did, <laughs> in a way. Akio, I don't want to see you crying again. Be careful going home with your game. <clears throat> yep, got it. Thank you, mister. What a twist! Mister, thanks. This is to apologize. Or to thank you for teaching this fool a lesson, maybe. Whatever, I want you to have it. You got a sunburst. That's a katana. From now on, be a good dad all the time, not just in front of Akio. You don't want to do anything that'll make kids sad, no matter whose kids they are. Yep, you got that right. Papa, this is too hard for me by myself. Let's go to Mama's house and play RQ3 together. I need help with the maps. Oh. Uh, sure. With my expert advice, we'll be making a beeline to that nasty demon lord in no time. Now that's how a game should be played. Oh, that's so nice. It's so wholesome. For a game where you can beat people up with fucking bicycles. It's so wholesome. Alright. Alright, you punk ass bitches don't wanna go. This is what you got yourself into. Oh god. Dude, does the game get harder all of a sudden? Holy shit, I'm getting my ass kicked sometimes. I'm trying to fucking attack! Please let me hit one of you! Fucking dickheads! Get the fuck out of here! God damn it! Ugh. Can I please get some takoyaki? 
Absolutely tasty takoyaki, please. It was not very much HP, but I could buy again. I did end up, end up having a lot to drink there, though, so I just got to be careful. No pocket issues. Oh, I forgot what I was doing. I still need to buy all these people their shit. Fuck you. Okay. Uh, fuck. I definitely don't remember most of the things that they wanted either because of the fucking. Uh, convenience store. Okay, that should work. I might just end up buying a lot of booze in the hopes that I cover most of what they were looking for. Bentos. Okay, I need that. I remember this one for sure. No whiskey, no beer. Miho, convenience store clerk. You seem a little tense. I just started working here, so I guess it takes a while to get used to it and learn about all the different products. Well, good luck. Thank you, sir. You're much kinder than you look. I am. What kind of look do I have then? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> eh, don't worry about it. It's fine. My name is Miho. If you come here often, we'll be seeing each other a lot, so I thought I should introduce uh. myself. Nice to meet you, Miho. I'm here. You. Found another sub story in friendship. So many friendship meters to raise. Okay, so that was a convenience store. What's this? Nationwide. Okay, let's head up to the M store. Kiryu's just such a nice guy, he can't help but make friends with everybody. Alright. Yes, some of that. What do you have? Ah, sake was one. Shit, I forgot to keep looking. Do you have whiskey? And then bait. Okay, still no beer. Oh, I guess malt is beer, isn't it? Oh, but he wants scotch. He wants a scotch whiskey, so that taco bin won't work. Champagne, scotch whiskey, the, the shochu shit, beer. Did I say sake already? 
Kentucky Champagne, the shochu stuff, beer, scotch whiskey. Okay, I just need the scotch whiskey. Drugstore. You can go there and try that. Can I just look in my items? Are they in my items? Champagne. Sake. Beer. Where's the other stuff? There it is. Sweet potato shochu. Yeah. Can I just... To a friend's dad's baby cookout. Fucked up and lost my friend. Luckily his mom and sis are falling behind. That sounds like the... the uh, That sounds like an interesting scenario you found yourself in. Catch me, I will. Did I turn too early? No. I saw that over there. Mr. There's a card right there. Sorry. Hey, Nanase Otoha. What is happening right here? Punish me! Mm -hmm. Hurry! Now, punish me where everyone can see my shame! Oh, some kind of S&M club is here. Man, for people doing the privacy of their own homes is one thing, but is this really necessary out on the street? Mm. Uh, okay then. You, you middle-aged man. Yes, go on. Um, um, you lusty guy. More! Put your soul into it! Please visit again, you... You customer? <sighs> no, no, no. Ayuchan, that was no good. Like nothing about that nothing about it was working. Nothing at all. I knew you were bad during the role play, but I didn't expect you to be bad at just saying goodbye. Can you please tell me what I did wrong? Where do I start? When I asked you to punish me, you said I was a village man. That's the truth, not a put down. I suppose that's true. And then you called me lusty. I mean who says that? If I'm coming here, lust is pretty obvious, I think. What's the joy of being told what you already know? Also true. Mm. And to top it off, please visit again? That's proper business etiquette, not sadomasochism. I'm so sorry. Oh man, Ayuchan, you're an S&M queen, a dominatrix. You should never, ever apologize. Mm. Other than your terrible humiliation skills, you're the girl of my dreams. I don't know if I can keep this up. <sighs> if you disappoint me next time, I'll have to ask for a different girl. See ya. Oh, she's sad. Yes, and that must be a tough act. She's trying. Can I console her? Of course we console her. Oi. Hey, are you okay? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry for causing a scene in public, yeah. too. 
It's okay. Well, it was a scene, I guess, but this S&M thing sure has some unique challenges, doesn't it? Yes, very much so. What do you think after watching that? I'm not... I'm not cut out for this line of work, am I? Hmm. Mm. Honestly, you do seem to be too caring and gentle to play a dominant. I find it very hard to berate someone, especially a client. It just feels like I'm being rude. Hmm. I would think your customers pay you because they want to be abused by you. If you're so hung up about berating someone, why are you even working as a dominatrix? Since I was a child, I could never rebuke anyone. Even when my friends betrayed me, I laughed off and forgave them. I'm still like that today. But those relationships I built on swallowing my feelings were false. They were shallow. I realized I had no real friends, not one person with whom I could share my honest feelings. I took this job to transform myself into someone who can tell people exactly what's on her mind. But now I see that I'm not cut out for it. Well, that's quite a deep logic to make. But if you're still motivated, why not stick with it? But I don't have the talent to be a dominatrix. Hey, check it out. Got ourselves a real-life dominatrix. <laughs> hey, baby, you always dress like that? Oh, I beg of you, please make me your slave. Ha ha ha. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. you... Eh? What was that? You got something to say, kinky lady? Um... No, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell is this? I thought you were supposed to be all royal and shit. Some S&M queen you are. She says you're bad for business. Uh -huh. Eh? Uh -huh. I'll say it for her. Don't loiter in front of the club. You're bad for business. Huh? Stay out of this, you squealing pig. You, act, you can't act all tough when you're trotting out of an S&M dungeon. I'm not a customer. Just get lost. You're a nuisance. <laughs> Don't order me around, bacon boy. Widow masochist piggy wubs... Taking a punch, am I right? I know how to make you feel real good then. Do you now? Dude, they are just going in on me right now. Motherfucker. Oh my god. Could I please catch just the smallest of breaks here? Jesus Christ! Can't I can't even get away from like the fucking wall, dude? Oh my God! Dude, that fucking bounce, though? Really? Yeah, not so tough now, are you, motherfucker? Now that it's 1v1? This masochist is tough. You're supposed to be like, you're supposed to like in your ass uh. bank. I said I'm not a customer. Do I need to pound that into your skull again? Ah. Next time, pick a safe word before you ask for a flogging. I'll, if I see you around here again, you're dead meat. Ah, sorry. Oh, uh, excuse me. Sorry, I caused a big scene fighting in front of your uh, club. No, no, that's okay. Thank you for telling those men what I wanted to say myself. And, um, hmm? what is it? Did you teach me how to punish Nanny. people? Huh? Punish Hi. people? Yes, the words you said to those, send those men scurrying, that was amazing. 
I want to be like you and break people the way you do. Yeah. Wait, I don't know. I want to change myself. Please help me. Okay. She's desperate enough to ask for my help, even though we just met. She must be serious about wanting to change. Not sure how I can teach her to berate others, but if she thinks she, I could help. Uh. Okay, I'll do what I can to help. <laughs> oh, you will? Thank you. My name is Ayu. I'm so glad to meet you. Uh. I'm so glad I met you. Mm. I'm curious. But now what? I don't know where to begin. It's true. For now, though, there are too many people here. Maybe go to the park, uh. please? Okay. Well, we're at the park. Now what? I'd like to try walking through a session mm -hmm. with you. Oh, how does that work? S&M is about play acting a certain kind of fantasy. It's a form of role playing, but it's not what you'd expect. I think I could gain better insight into S&M if I were to practice this with you. I want to act out a play session with you. I want you to act out. I want you, there's a you missing there. I want to act out a play session with me taking, oh no. I want to act out a play session with me taking the dominant role and you, the submissive. I see. Hey, wait a second. Did you say I have to play the customer's part? Right. Yes, Kiryu-san. I want you to play the role of a thoroughly masochistic client. And as we do this, I'd like you to give me advice on what I should be saying as a dominant. Yes. I get it, but please, I want to change. If I can't do this, I'll end up as a quiet, dull person for the rest of my life. She's laying the guilt mm. on thick. I can see your point. Though. It would do I you good to learn how to berate others with authority. Besides, I told her I would help. I can't back out now. All right, fine. I'm not doing anything weird. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. Here, Yusan, can we start with you entering my chamber? I'll try. Mistress, may I serve you today? Hi. Yes, please do. Mm. Yeah, that's not right. Huh? Pardon? Yeah. I'm not fully into my role either, so I'm not one to talk, but... I you, you're a dominatrix, right? Yes, I'm supposed to be. Before you can really dominate someone, you need to understand what it means to be a dominatrix. With this sort of thing, the beginning is crucial. Your first words have to lay out the rules to the boss. I see. Then how should I respond to the client's question? I would say, who gave you permission to speak, Take. I see. You don't even treat them as a person. That does sound like a dumb uh. Yeah, I wouldn't know how a mask is things, but it's probably a turn on. Okay, can we do this from the top again? Mistress, may I serve you today? Who gave you permission to speak, pig? Sorry. I know I told her to do this, but what am I doing? So, how are you going to serve me today? Nani. Huh? Um... Please tell me what you'd like me to do. SM comes in many flavors. I have to get the client to tell me what their tell me about their particular king. Got it, but I don't really I don't really have anything in particular. I guess not. Then just in general, what do you want women to do to you, Kiryu son? Mm. Tell me. Hmm, what do I want done to me? Nothing really comes to mind, so let's just play the masses. Uh <laughs> hmm. All good options, really. This is what that guy was doing as he was leaving. The other two are a bit more extreme. She doesn't have a whip that I have seen, so I think the top one would be hard for her to do. So it's probably got to be one of these two. Humiliated seems like the tamest option. So I'm curious what she'd say if I asked for this. Uh, I want to be stepped on with you. Ew, is that right, Kiryu-san? I would never, I never would have guessed. I don't really want that done. That's just an example. Besides, that's the wrong response for a dominatrix. Pardon? Telling you their kink makes them vulnerable. You need to just come back with. Them. You need to come back with the right response to maintain trust. I see. Then how should I respond? Go with. 
I bet you'd like that, you pervert. That one. Oh, that sounds very much like what a dominatrix would say. That's perfect. I'm learning so much from you already. Uh. Yeah, even in casual conversation, you should be working in an s &M. Okay, can we try this again? This is amazing. Mistress, I would like you to step on me with your high heels. <laughs> I bet you'd like that, you pervert. Hi, I'm sorry. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Very well, we shall begin. Hi, what are you guys doing? Oh? Wow, miss, your clothes are so pretty. Innocent kid, pure-hearted. <laughs> oh, God. Are you having fun? Can we play too? Uh, guys, this isn't... We're not playing, you see, um... Wait, I calm down. Why don't you expect me to stay calm now? Please, can we leave? Yeah. No, think about it. Wouldn't a true dominatrix take advantage of any unexpected situation to enhance the session? Oh, I see. That does make sense. Well, then, what do you propose I say? Answer me. Good. I use backing control. In this situation with kids watching, what would a dominatrix say to a masochistic client? your client keep your eyes on me and me alone what are you trying to say this guy in the world of S&M the dominatrix must be an absolute presence no masochist can be allowed to turn his attention anyone toward anyone but her I see by ordering the client to look at me and no one else I'm reaffirming my dominance over him heh <laughs> that's it I understand now can we pick up where we left off come on what are you talking about naive young boy Mistress, you, who said you could look away? Oh, you, eyes on me and no one else. Yes, mistress. I don't get this game you're playing. Grown-ups are weird, let's go. I'm so sorry, it was just training, but I, I caused you embarrassment in the process. Uh. I don't, I think I lost some dignity among other things, but it's worth it if it helps you change, are you? <laughs> Thank you, here you son. Can you come with me to the dungeon? I want to give you something as my thanks. Sure. Man, what am I gonna get this time? I think I left my bag somewhere around here. I should have something that would make a good token of my appreciation. You bring your personal belongings into the playroom? Ayu Chen, you've got a client. He requested you personally. I'll send him through, so get ready, okay? Huh? Oh, Oi. yes. Whoa, if you've got clients coming in, I shouldn't be here. No, you're right, but this could actually be a great Ready? opportunity. What do you mean? I'm going to put what I learned from you into practice, Kiryu-san. So, could you hide somewhere and watch out how I do? You've got a lot more guts than uh. I thought. I never imagined I'd get roped into watching over an s &M session. But all right, I'll do it. Hi. Give it your best. I will. Uh. Are you, Chan? I'm back. That's the guy who told Ayu she was a bad dominatrix. Ayu chan I want to see how much you've grown as a dominatrix. Dominatrix since our last time. Now, mistress, may we begin? Go on, I Show him what you learned. <laughs> Who gave you permission to speak? How dare you utter human words, you pig? Such insolence. Squee, oink. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Please forgive me, oink. Mistress, you're fantastically gorgeous today, Squeal. Please, oink, abuse me some more, oink, oink. I don't understand your oinking, you pig in human clothing. Why would I deign to listen to the bleeding of animals? This is so unreasonable, oink. More, more. I used taking it to a whole new level. The client seems happy too. Did it. So, what shall I subject you to today? Please, mistress, I beg you to whip me. Then, while I lie humiliated and exposed, step on me with your pin heels. I bet you like that, you pervert. Yes. Mistress, I am a pervert. You must be. Only a pervert would beg for humiliation from a girl your daughter's age. What a pervert. Pathetic. <laughs> no, I can't take it. Oh. Excellent. Just like I taught her. He's eating it up, too. That's how it's done. I'm getting really uncomfortable back here. I need to move a little. Bit. Huh? Did you hear that? No distractions. 
Damn it. He heard me. Is, is someone there? I'm busted now. Bring it back in, Ayu. Okay. Uh, you don't work here, do you? Ayu, Chan. Who is this guy? Ayu, how will you get out of this one? Hey, what are you looking at? Who told you to take your eyes off me? But, but mistress, this strange man. Oh, you, you should have eyes only for me. If you look at anyone but me, I won't forgive you. Oh. The situation. I don't get it, but if I had to give it a thumbs up or thumbs down, it's thumbs way up. What are you saying, you pervert? Not that I dislike that about you. Oh, 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 oh. She made it through by applying my advice. It may not be dominatrix material, but she's owning this persona. I stopped a panty selling ring and helped a dominatrix today. Busy day. Thanks for the play session, Ayu-chan. Ayu-chan. No. Your, majest your majesty, Queen Ayu-sama, your demeanor was truly regal and your behavior the height of haughty scornfulness. You were utterly magnificent. Oh, really? You've grown immeasurably since our last meeting, mistress. I feel truly humbled in your presence. Please allow me the honor of royally requesting. You. <laughs> hmm. What dare you even consider strength? I'll allow you to keep requesting me, you pathetic swine. <laughs> Amazing. I you nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. It's all thanks to your advice, <laughs> you son. I just hope I never have to do anything that awkward again. Well, here's a little something to make it all better. Please accept it. You got a fur belly warmer. Thanks to you, Kiryu-san, I was able to change a little. I think I've gained enough confidence to make it as a dominator uh, now. Good for you, Ayu. Thank you, Kiryu-san. I demand you visit again as a client. Next time, Ayu-sama will pleasure you with her whip. <laughs> I don't see myself coming back for whipping, but I'm glad I could help all the time. There you go. Oh, I... Do, do what you want to do. Like, obviously, nobody is expecting you to be a robot. Oh, shit. Um, nope. I'm just going to go ahead and go this way. Don't mind me. If he wasn't on the other, if the save point wasn't on the other side of him. I'm gonna follow him. Shit. Oh, walk right the other way, please. Hello, Mr. Shakedown. Sorry, sorry. My bad. Whoops. Shit. Now there's other people that want to fight me. No. Leave me alone. <laughs> Who knows if he'll still be there? Oh, fuck. Now he won't be. <laughs> Really? Really? Ah. 
I just want to grab this. Dude, these motherfuckers. Just wanted to save and try to fight him, and now he's gonna be gone. Because these dickheads just had to fight him. Oh, there he is! Hey, fight me. Fight me before they fight me. God damn it. Leave me alone, dickheads. Alright, oh, actually, before I do this, let me do some upgrades. Like, I could buy every 2 million yen upgrade. On all my styles and still have money. Oh, you do actually have to buy up the the path though.
There we go. Now I've spent some money on some stuff. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh my god. That was so much HP. Oh my god, you dick. Oh, fuck. Oh no. No. God damn. Oh no, that was bullshit! <laughs> Fuck! No! You shitlord! Shit, you changed styles. I haven't seen him do this yet. I don't know what his attack kind of looks like. Oh, he had another hit! Fuck! Oh my god, you fucking shithead. Dude, the hitbox on that is busted as fuck. God damn it. Ass. Ooh. Oh, no. That upgrade that I bought was so clutch there. I dodged this attack. Oh my god! Again with that sh That combo is so dumb, dude. Fuck! I, I would have healed while I was on the ground. I would have healed while I was on the ground if I would have thought that was gonna kill me. If I had any remote idea that that was gonna kill me. That's so dumb.
I cannot believe it did my entire health bar, his knockdown move, and then the foot stomp. That's fucking disgusting. I actually still want to do all those upgrades. Though. That pisses me off. I feel like I actually had him way close there. He just got a lot of blocks in while I was trying to fight him. And negated a lot of the damage that I could have done. What was I up here for? I was trying to get to the drugstore. I got very distracted. Oh, it's right here. You don't share my say. Oh. Alright, you don't have jack shit. Well, there aren't many other places for me to even try, are there? That's the shrine. There's a pawn shop. Oh, there's a convenience store down there. What's this? Imported brands? Oh, like Scotch whiskey, maybe? Ayaka Tomoda. Ah! Found it. Now we can go back to those homeless guys. Oh, my bad. Oh no. My bad. I heard the sound. <laughs> My 
bad. Where the hell? It played the sound. I swear to God, I heard the card sound. My <laughs> bad. Cool. All right, well, maybe not. really picking on somebody come on man come on man i gotta give these drinks to homeless people i have time for your shenanigans i'm not gonna suffer you guys picking on somebody i don't see what the advantage of of doing the uh you motherfuckers Like, what are you even supposed to do about this shit? Fuckers, leave me the fuck alone! Stop! Oh my god, I can't move. I literally can't do anything. He's just kicking me over and over and over again. Stop! Stop! When do you have us a, a break in your fucking attacks, dude? Fuck off, fucking jackass. God damn it. All right, I brought your shit. Ask Santa for the next bottle. Nice. Really? I'm trying to do a quest here, motherfuckers.
All right, now tell me what I want to know, you fucks. やっぱり酒は命の水だな。これで話を ああ、言われた場所に一日中居座っているだけ。地上げの嫌がらせにさ。簡単なバイトだよ。立花不動産の方から声をかけてくるのか。ああ、今のあんたみたいに俺らに近づいてきてね。そうだ。登場会のヤクザの方でも俺たちに同じバイト頼んでくることがあるよ。その連中も地上げ屋だ。今時はホーム
that's no way to have a heart, please. Sure, I can't pay a retainer, but if you protect me, I'll teach you some of my top shelf good moves, the good stuff. Are these moves better than your yes. credit? Damn straight they are. They'll do you right in a tight fight, my boy. Mm. Mm. Are you Bacchus? Oh, looks like we might not have a choice here. Ah. I think they found me, boy. This is the big scary deck collector, huh? I'm here for your head. Just doing my job, so don't hold it against me. Deck collector, huh? More like Hitman. No, no, I don't want to die. Please help me, boy. I don't I guess I don't have much of a choice. If I left you here, it'd be like putting a bullet in your head myself. Stand back. Thanks, boy. You're protecting this guy? For now. I don't especially feel like watching him die. I see. Fine. There may not be a price in your head, but I'll see if I can swing a bonus afterwards. Damn. Watch out, boy. I don't like the look of this one. Way ahead of you. All right, let's do this. I don't have much HP. I was trying to find a spot that I could heal. So I'll immediately start out by bump, bump busting out a... Uh... Well, let's just do a couple of these. That'll pretty much spread these away. Oh, gun, eh? I'm not sure I, how I feel about that, sir. Oh, fuck. back and tell whoever ordered the hit to forget about Bacchus, you hear me? Hey, I'm the only one after this guy? What? There'll be others on his trail soon enough. He'll get what's coming to him. Ah, sorry, boy. Why the apology? I told you to watch out for a knife in your ribs, yet here I am putting you in danger myself. Don't worry about that. I'd rather hear more about the offer. Oh. What? <laughs> you said you'd teach me some new moves. Better make it quick, though, before the next hitman gets here. You sure about this, boy? I don't have much choice. Like I said, I've got my own problems, so a few extra survival skills would come in handy. <laughs> All right. Let me fill you in on some moves that'll send those hitmen reeling. Yeah, let's do it right now. I'm here. Hey, bye! <laughs> you ready to learn my moves? These are the moves I can teach you, boy. Yes. Okay. The most important thing in a fight is tenacity. That's the secret. Sounds pretty simple for a secret, though I guess that in a fight, simplicity is best. It only comes down to spirit in the end, so I'm going to teach you a move that, to, that harnesses that power. I call it spirit fire. You learned the extra resolute counter. Interesting. So you use the force of an enemy's blow to strike them back with twice yes. the power. Yes. I'm sure you'll be able to make use of it. You're Bacchus, right? Well, here we go again. Hitman number two. Hmm? It's one of those Japanese hooligans. You call yourself an assassin? You look about as pro as some sorry street punk. I don't really know what's going on here, but I just got paid a fortune up front by some guy. I get the rest once the job's done. Oh, so he's a street fighter on a freelance job. He doesn't look so tough. Shut it. I may not look like much, but I've never lost a fight. Time to earn this cash. Think you have the tenacity to win? This is the perfect uh. chance, boy. Yeah, time to try out that move I just learned. What? You want some first, do you? Alright, open up and I'll serve you your own tea. Whoa. So, brawler style then, first. Oh, it put me in it right away. You can charge up a counterattack. More The attack is more powerful and likely to knock the opponent down. Ow. Oh, okay. Oh! Yeah. 
You get armor on it, too. Keep the Hitman and targeting Bacchus. Use your baller style moves to take out the assassin. Oh my god, you motherfucker! Let me pick up a bike and hit you with it! Dude! He just blocks everything! Fuck you, dude! God damn it. I'm over it. Crazy. How the hell did you get the better of me? <laughs> the boy wins. Boy. Hey. Yeah? What did the guy who paid you look like? It was dark, so I didn't get a good look at their face. From the way they talked, I guess they were no. fooling. Well, it wasn't me. Of course not. It's the guy who's out to get you. Don't you go getting any more big ideas, okay? Yeah, I hear you. Get the hell out of here. Am I going to have to fight another guy if he teaches, he teaches me the other move? Hmm, I'd heard those. these were the most dangerous deck collectors around. Looks like you handled this one no problem, though. You better hope they're all like this, then. Learn all of Bacchus' moves. All right. Here we go. Hey, boy! Hey, boy! Yes, I should have done this one first. Fuck. Opponents that stay on the defensive are a real hassle. Sometimes the right move in a boxing match is to bide your time and wait for a win by decision. But that's not the way of a true champion. You need the fighting instinct to do whatever it takes to grab and wrench down the other guy. Fighting instinct, huh? Brawling and boxing don't have much in common, but I get what you're saying. This is the perfect move for opponents with a solid defense. I call it the face squeeze. The essence of face twisting. I see. Your opponent can break free if you grab their arm or leg. But it isn't so easy when you're holding their face. Even with their guard up, you can have your... Your way with yes. Them. Yes. You're quick on the uptake, aren't you, boy? You're Bacchus, huh? Hey, look, it's another guy that I gotta beat up once I learn this move. Another assassin. This one looks pretty beefy. Word is your bodyguard here knows how to handle himself. That's why I got called what? in. What? Why you? Professional killers like us always risk getting the tables turned on us. You often hear about second-rate hitmen being taken out by their targets. Yes. Yes, and that's what happened to everyone sent after me so far, although my boy here doesn't kill him. Well, that won't be happening with me. They call me the unassailable assassin. Nobody gets past my defenses, so I always get the job done. It's your chance, boy. Uh. I get it. You want me to try out the move I just learned, right? Quit your mumbling. I haven't got all day, you know. Let's go. How does this move work? Slip past the guarding enemy's arms, grab their face and twist them to the ground, then stomp them to finish the job. Okay, press triangle in front of an enemy with your guard up. Oh, it's the heat meter move. Oh, fuck yes, dude. I'll do that again. Absolutely. 
Also, that looks incredibly painful. Alright. Ooh, he's got a yellow hook. If he wants to do that. I wish this big ass yellow box would The guard break move is fine and all, but it does not help with uh, if you don't have heat. It seems like I just cannot manage to keep. Like at least I lose heat so fast. God damn it. Now he's in a fucking corner. Give you shit about that. Come at me, bitch. Yeah, like, all right, cool. You, you're unassailable because you backed yourself into a corner. Oh my god. I tried to hit him from the back, but he wasn't far too. Yeah. Really cool, dude. Start again. Okay, or I'll lose my fucking. Oh my god, that move has such reach! Are you fucking kidding me? Sit your ass down, dickhead. I don't get it. How'd you break past my defenses? What was that about second rate Hitman getting taken out by the targets? You met your match today, so don't come back. I won't. Fuck out of here, you piece of shit. You're getting stronger every day, boy. Yeah, I guess I have you to thank for that. All right, I'm fucking out of here. Get the this. God damn it! I want some food. Nope, I'm good. Thanks. Bye. I never have to eat there ever again if I don't want to. Oh. 
Okay. How much? the motorcycle and I knew what I was going to do there. <laughs> the kids. some noticeable progress I would say in some regards and in other regards I would say we didn't but I'm gonna stop 